I was just thinking this morning how before meeting the Balance View training, I used to I used to be quite moody, especially in the morning. Can anyone else relate? Yeah. <laughs> and you know, moodiness, like always considering where it was coming from. Was it something that happened the day before, maybe my Australian football team losing? Was it something that I said, something I did, something someone else said or something someone else did? Just moodiness, just coming from all the descriptions that would arise in my experience, all thoughts, emotions and sensations that would arise for me countless and ceaselessly in the AM, in the morning. So in Balance View, just to simply share some of the terminology, all thoughts, emotions, sensations, all experiences can simply be referred to as data. So I had a lot of data arise for me each morning and I still do have a lot of data arising for me each morning. And so this morning was just a perfect opportunity just to reflect how no matter what is swirling in my experience, no matter what data, no matter what anyone's done, no matter what I've done, there is just this ease and stability now that is inseparable from the data streams, inseparable from the thoughts, emotions and sensations, the people, places and things. And in Balanced View, what is inseparable from the data, we simply call the nature of mind, open intelligence. That about us, that's stable, clear, that's alert, that's comfortable to feel uncomfortable, that's comfortable to feel moody, that's comfortable with whatever array, whatever flavor of data that you experience. This stability is always present and it's available right now to recognize very simply through a simple introduction. And so that introduction is just to stop thinking for a moment. And whether we've stopped thinking for many moments through coming to these meetings, it's still so powerful to recognize when we stop thinking what's present, what remains. So whether you're an experienced practitioner of the practice of short moments, the practice of the Four Mainstays lifestyle, or if you're just a newcomer here for the first time, each of us can just simply stop thinking just to recognize that stability, that groundedness. Got it? <laughs> and it's just amazing to come back to that introduction, no matter how many years we've heard that introduction, because it's always a great way to tap into that about us that's always present. The fundamental nature of our identity, open intelligence. Now, this open intelligence is present and available, whether thinking or not thinking. So this introduction to stop thinking is just to introduce ourselves. However, we know, and for me, I know in the morning, there is just a relentless array of data. But this open intelligence, this ground of complete ease and stability is still present. And a simple tool that's offered in this training, offered in the Balance View training, is the practice of short moments. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times, and that recognition of stable, clear intelligence becomes continuous, becomes alive for us, electric and alive. This stability, this presence, can be accessed through a practice so simple as short moments, not long moments, Short moments, perfect. In each moment we have access to the fundamental nature of our being, the essence of our being. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times. So that's just a tool now that each of us can take away with us from this meeting. Go out into the streets, meet and greet shop owners, hang out with acquaintances, dance around, hang out on the beach, just do our thing. But take short moments of open intelligence and see how we're just slowly but surely seeing how we're no longer at the whim of our data. Whether it's a positive data stream or a negative data stream 
or a neutral data stream. Open intelligence is undistracted by whatever the description is. So it's a tool that we can use that encompasses all our experience. <laughs> you don't have to have a certain experience to use the tool of short moments. Short moments is to use for all our experience to get comfortable with ourselves as we are. So all that moodiness that I thought needed to be kicked out of my experience because I labeled it as negative, now is just this fire of potency, this energy that just is the goal to mind each morning, every single morning, relentless moodiness. And so fine, it's like this warm embrace, this hug saying, you're a human being and you have a choice now with how you use the intelligence that's present and available for you. Not the intelligence of going into the data naming, the positive, negative or neutral, because we've all done that. And for me, it just led to a, an endless story about my life and about my family and about my friends and about the world. There's just constant stories streaming over and over because I'm perpetuating the data creating an identity based on moodiness, based on whatever it is for each of us. But in a short moment, we cut the root of all data, of all stories. A direct slice of the finger, knowing that the finger is gone for good. This is like our experience. We decisively experience, we instinctively recognize this intelligence that is inseparable from all the data. Like the color blue in, this, in the sky or reflections in a mirror. This mirror-like quality, this sky-like quality that we each inherently possess is yours for the taking. And so short moments is access to that intelligence. And so the key with this lifestyle of complete ease and empowerment in this lifestyle of complete comfortability within all experience, to have a support network to really empower this recognition for me has been absolutely crucial because the tool of short moments is brilliant, great to take with us. But at times I found for myself that it was just elusive. It just was nowhere to be found. I was just going into the stories way too intensely. But to have a trainer, to have a training and to have a community just to support me to see that I always have a choice, that I can always show up to this four mainstays lifestyle and see that I can clarify my data, can, cl can clarify it once and for all clarify moodiness, clarify afflictive states, clarify thinking that I'm always wrong, that I'm not good enough, that something about me needs to change. So instead of trying to push and force things out of my experience through this lifestyle of empowerment, I'm just empowered to get comfortable with the urges and surges, the desires, the taboo data that I never wanted to expose to anyone. So I expose it to a trainer. And when completing the 12 empowerments, which is the fundamental training of Balanced View, we have access to a trainer who can just simply share their experience of what it's like to get real with all data, who has just reached the summit many, many times and can really take us the most direct route to the summit, can support us through their experience, through their adventures of relying on open intelligence. And it's a real adventure. Does anyone else kind of have that experience? The adventure, adventurousness of a life of allowing everything to be as it is. Because not everyone's living a life of allowing things to be as they are. Because we don't really want to allow moodiness to be as it is, or sexual desire, or negativity, or hate, or arrogance. Because we're always told that these are things that we shouldn't feel we shouldn't think. But here, we're totally welcomed to feel it all, to think it all. And that is so relaxing. <laughs> so let your mind go. Let it go. Let it go wild. 
and see at the basis of all experience, there is still this fundamental stability. Data just naturally resolving like a line drawn in water. And then the next weird and wacky data appears. And again, like a line drawn in water, just resolves naturally. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to take any drug. We don't have to play any sport. We don't have to listen to any music. We don't have to have any sexual experience. We don't have to live in nature. We don't have to live in the city. We can actually just sit on this chair. It's brilliant. It's like totally available for each of us wherever we are, whatever we're doing. So to empower this recognition, the support of a trainer has just been crucial for me. The support of trainings, open meetings, clarity calls, reading texts that just spark this fire of intelligence, this beneficial potency inseparable from the data. Each word that I read is just so powerful, hits the mark every time. And even if you don't want to read the material, even if you don't want to listen to the talks, that's fine too. Just read some material. <laughs> just listen to some talks. And just see it work very directly in, in your own experience. And that's just all I've done. Just continually showing up regardless of positive, negative, neutral data streams. And it's the greatest gift because I can sit here now even though I want to lie down there. All is well. I don't have to feel and think anything in particular. I can just feel and think anything and see I can just show up naturally. And so the community is just the perfect example of this. We're training up here. We're kind of, we're seeing and being inspired by everyone's unique way of, of being, of relying on open intelligence and seeing how capable, how capable we are through seeing how capable other people are. And just to honor people and seeing their greatness is something I kind of missed out on because I was too busy comparing myself to other people, pushing myself up, pushing myself down. But now just to rest deeply as I am and see that everyone is just so unique and so completely incredible whilst feeling everything fully, I'm just amazed because it's really inspired me to show up five years of completely showing up and growing with so many of you, so many around the world. And seeing other people's breakthroughs and realizations is what really has sealed the deal for me, has sealed open this lifestyle. Because we are just human beings, just getting down with reality. That's really what's going on here. And to see other people living it, it just, it, yeah, it really empowers me, motivates me, inspires me. And I just want to keep showing up. And so I do keep showing up. And I see so many others showing up. And showing up doesn't mean having the right set of descriptions. That's a very key point. Showing up having the completely wrong descriptions is totally fine. I can't get enough of that. Just hearing that nothing needs to change. Perfection is at the basis of all our experience. And so short moments, the trainer, the training and the community just seals that open forever. <laughs>